Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am popping in for a really quick video. I am actually traveling at the moment, but I wanted to come in and give you guys some content. So I'm here to talk to you guys about what is so wrong with chicken. And there's actually a lot of different topics that I'm gonna address in this video. And so let's just jump right in. So let's assume you're just someone that goes to a normal grocery store and buy some chicken. You buy some chicken thighs, you buy some chicken wings, you buy chicken breast, and you think, oh, you know, totally fine, nothing wrong here. Well, starting from that place, there are so many things unfortunately wrong with that process. And that's because chicken farming is truly the problem. Breaking that down into many different things, there are ethical issues with large chicken farms, there are environmental issues with large chicken farms, and then there are health issues with large chicken farms. Since I am a health-based channel, and I don't really talk about ethics that much, and I'm starting to talk about the environment more and more, we're gonna mostly stick with the health aspect of that chicken. So these big chicken farms will feed these chickens lots and lots of grains. They're keeping these chickens confined in very small containers. And so the health of what you eat is important to the health of you. And so those chickens are filled with so much stress. All these stress hormones are floating around their body. Those get stored in their bodies. And then you're then eating stress hormones and all sorts of things. But the main issue is those chickens are mostly just being fed grains. Well, these grains are so bad, one for the chicken and two for us. And that's because the grains were produced using pesticides. They're probably genetically modified. And all of these aspects are then being stored in the chicken's meat. So it's altering, it's like, Chickens don't always have the same amount of nutrients. So you can't assume that every chicken is gonna have the same amount of like fat, the same amount of calories to a different type of chicken raised in a different environment. And so the chicken that's raised in a large farm, that chicken is not only containing the chemicals from the pesticides, the herbicides that are in the grains that they're eating, but they're also being injected with antibiotics, they're being injected with steroids so that they get bigger, so that there's more meat. And honestly, the whole thing is so corrupt. So when you're going to the store and just buying chicken meat, there's so much more that comes with that. In addition to that, I wanted to explain that, you know how I said that all chickens can't be created equal, they're gonna have different nutrients. Well, the same thing applies to what we're eating vegetable wise as well fruits vegetables anything it's not going to have the same nutrients as every other one especially if you're buying organic versus non-organic so for example a sweet potato grown in really good soil is going to have so many more micronutrients than one that was grown in a overly farmed area and that's because its soil gets depleted of minerals. So let's say you move up a notch and you're buying vegetarian fed chicken, no steroids, nor ho no hormones. Well vegetarian fed is a little bit not the best option and that's because chickens actually are meant to be somewhat of omnivores. They shouldn't be vegetarian fed, they actually should be free range so that they can go and peck and eat all the things that they need to eat like bugs. And so those bugs are actually going to change their nutrient density in those chickens. Bugs are really high in protein, they're really high in micronutrients, and they're also really great for getting these chickens to have a higher omega-3 content. The omega-3 is so important because otherwise the chicken is going to cause you inflammation instead of actually helping you. When the chicken has omega-3, you're then consuming omega-3. So you have to just think about the whole process. It's not as simple as, oh, I'm going to buy my chicken from Harris Teeter instead of Food Lion. It's obviously going to be better. Well, chances are they're going to have the probably the same exact meat. And these producers are mass producing the meat and selling it to a lot of these stores. And so ideally, I know you guys want the answer, and so ideally either skip out on chicken altogether, it's one of the worst meats for you, 
or your other option is buy from a local farm. If there's no local farms from you and you have access to a Whole Foods, sometimes they have free range and organic chicken and that is the ideal situation for you. A whole other aspect to this is the idea of eating muscle meat versus organ meat and it's actually so much better for us to eat organ meat than it is to eat just a bunch of muscle meat all the time and that's because organ meat contains a lot of nutrients so your zinc your iron your B vitamins and so people think that chicken is such a health food and you see these bodybuilders they're eating their chicken with their brown rice and their broccoli or whatever and it's truly not a health food. If anything, chicken should be looked at as a treat because it's not that nutrient dense and it doesn't contain that many nutrients, especially when you're buying it from the supermarket and it's just plain old chicken and it's not free range and it's not organic. So I always encourage you guys to have not only organic but free range chicken. So organic means that the grains that they're eating were grown and a little bit better. It's a it's a next step up. And so usually organic means they're not being pumped with steroids or antibiotics and then the feed that they're being fed is organic and does not contain things like Roundup, which is a cancer causing herbicide that gets put on our food. Well, Roundup contains something called glyphosate and it's just a mess. It is so bad for our bodies. So Ideally, free range organic. The free range part is then getting the chickens that eat the bugs. And so with all this being said, really be careful with what you decide to eat. Don't consume chicken every single day unless you know you are getting the right amounts. Instead, you should go for chicken liver. Then you're gonna get a lot more nutrients, but again, you want the chicken liver to be organic, free range chicken and all that as well because toxins are actually stored in the liver and so you want to make sure that it's not storing stress hormones and all these other things but I hope this makes sense to you guys and I wanted to just come in here and really explain because I think chicken is kind of idolized especially in America everyone loves their chicken there's like this little phrase for a popular place called Chick-fil-a here and it's eat more chicken and I just want to say like Eat it kind of in moderation and as a treat, make sure you're sourcing it well. High quality meat or no meat. So thank you guys for listening. Hope this makes sense and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.